Luxus Dragnet. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to discuss some other off-brand anime. If you enjoy harem and vanilla related content, check out this new video. If you don't recognize the title, it's in the corner of the video. With that said, let's start the video right away. They were late because of the man who woke up so late, so Ked tried to correct him, but the boy said they should leave rather than wait for her to wake up. Since Ked was the president of the students' council and the boy claimed to be a member as well, Ked asked Suzu if she was bothered by this, but Suzu appeared to be contemplating something, and they continued to argue about it after that. Despite her assurances that she won't wake him up again, the boy affirms that it will be wonderful for her if she doesn't. Later. After that, Suzu sent some messages to the man saying he needed to wait in the student council room after the school was over, but while he was waiting, it seemed like there was some box on the table, and the boy thought this message was made by Suzu. While he was waiting, Ked arrived in the room, but she was surprised when she saw him in the student council room since there was no work today. So after that, the boy told Ked that he was called by Suzu, but Ked was also called, but Ked asked the boy what this box was, but the boy had no clue. But he is also curious about this box, so Ked tries to reach out by using her hands to find out what is inside. <laughs> yeah, boy. But something happened to Ked's hands inside the box. It seemed they were stuck inside of the box, but the boy said what she was doing, so she told him that something tied up her both hands, and after that, Suzu finally arrived in the room, and Ked felt relieved that she had arrived, and Ked knew that Suzu was behind this box thing, so Suzu lifted up the box, and Ked found out that she was really tied up for real, so Ked asked Suzu what she was doing, but the boy praised her for that even though he had no idea what she was doing. Oh my god! But while Ked was tied up, she sensed something off to the boy, saying he was seeing something perverted, so she released many kicks to the boy, but he dodged them all so easily, and she said if she kept doing that, he would truly see her under her skirts. Uh. After Ked stopped kicking the boy, she asked Suzu if she could untie her, but Suzu seemed to want to do something. <laughs> whoa, 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 hey, 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 hey! Tomorrow. After the enjoyable scene had concluded, the boy said that they would be late but Ked responded that she was hurt, at which point the boy said that they could take their time walking. It appeared that the boy was genuinely concerned for Ked, so Ked was somewhat taken aback when she heard those words coming from him. That's it for today's video. If you have any suggestions for off-brand anime or comments on this one, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.